So finally, let's talk about testing for gases. And some reactions we talked about yield different gases. For example, carbon dioxide, ammonia, chlorine gas, oxygen gas. So how do we know which gas it is produced? So we use def uh, different techniques in the lab in order to know which gas is evolved. So in this video, we're going to talk about five different gases and how do we test for those gases so let's start with the first gas and the first gas is ammonia and from the previous videos about uh, the testing for cation cations and anions we said that the test for ammonia gas is we use the red litmus paper so red litmus paper and if the red litmus paper turns blue so the indi indicator turns blue then we have ammonia gas let's move on to another gas we also discussed in the previous videos which is carbon dioxide gas and we said that if we want to test for the carbon dioxide gas we bubble it so bubble through lime water and if lime water turns milky then carbon dioxide gas is produced now also let's discuss chlorine and I don't think we talked about this one so chlorine gas is diatomic gas and the test for that is we hold damp litmus paper so damp litmus paper and if this turns white then we have chlorine so it turns white then we have chlorine let's see what happens with hydrogen gas and hydrogen gas is a diatomic gas also and to test for hydrogen gas we use a lighted splint so we use a lighted splint and if the gas burns with a squeaky pop, so if the gas burns with a squeaky pop, then hydrogen gas is produced. Now finally, let's see what happens with oxygen gas. And in order to test for oxygen gas, we use the glowing splint. And if the glowing splint relights, so if the splint relights, then oxygen gas is produced. So you guys have to know these off by heart. So let's make this easier to memorize. Now, those two, you see them very frequently. And for the carbon dioxide, we discussed it in previous videos and we said and we talked about actually we talked about the lime water and the reactions with that and why it turns milky so you guys are experts by now and uh, the ammonia also we talked about it a lot now for the hydrogen and the oxygen they both use a splint but for the hydrogen is a is a lighted splint and for the oxygen it's a glowing splint now that's that for testing for gases and this is the end of this series in the next video we're gonna talk about we're actually we're not gonna talk about we're actually gonna solve an example from a past paper so stay tuned and good luck